What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, it is, well, it's actually late at night. I just got off of work, went to go pick up some parts. Um, now is the time for me to get the actual hatch barred. A lot of people have been asking me when I'm getting this thing barred, and now is actually the time because my registration is due in two months, uh, and I have to smile with the card. Um, so, I get a lot of questions, they're like, hey, did you borrow the car yet? Did you, you know, did you pass and all this? Uh, no, I didn't get to borrow the car yet because I've been waiting till my uh, registration is almost due because there's no point of me trying to get the car barred and the tags are so good till November and I actually did get new plates, la tom la. Yep, because I did lose my other plates, the front plates. I know for a fact this car will pass once it gets inspected. I've done everything legit, took my time with the wiring and everything. And the main thing they check for most of the time is all emissions, pretty much EVAP and the harness. Uh, make sure you're running all your sensors and of course the EC if you're running the right ECU for the motor. Uh, this is a OBD2B motor. This is a 992000 Civic SI motor. I am running a 96 to 97 spec OBD2A P30 A02, which is a B16 A3 out of a Dell cell. Because I'm actually being gonna be getting this car barred. Well, the motor I bought as a Delso replacement motor in this car. Luckily, this car is in 1996 in California. In order for you to get a car barred, it has to be within the year of the car that was made or newer. And since this is a 96, I could use a 96 spec motor and up. But I decided to keep it OBD2A because it's just a lot easier and the car is already OBD2A. Don't have to change out the cabin harness or any of that. In this engine bay, the main thing I have to change is, of course, this intake arm. They, they are going to trip out about this, uh, the Spoon Kevlar intake arm. So I'm going to be putting back uh, this right here, which is like the little the OEM silencer box that goes uh, in that one spot. Uh, Got to clean it up a little bit, make it look pretty. That has to go back in. I have to pull this header off because this is a CTR B16 uh, or JDM header. So it has a two and a half collect two and a half inch collector at the bottom, and I just have to swap that out. And they mainly look for all this right here. This is the EVAP. So that's the chalk canister. Uh, make sure you're running all that. Of course, your fuel lines, all that per solenoid. Uh, on this motor is a 99, so it has it on the fuel rail. All this. So they look for all that. And of course, the E2 side. I've done the wiring really, really well. Um, so yeah, I tapped it in using my old car. I took the harness out of my Civic Coupe EX, swapped the harness over, and I literally didn't splice anything. I just literally, um, what's it called? This depinned it and repinned it on the ECU side. And yeah, so I'm gonna take it like this, minus the intake arm and the header. Um, I'm praying that this heat shield works on that header. This is the original header that the motor came with. This is the stock B16 header, and I'm looking at uh let's see this heat shield actually might work so i might swap the heat shield on if i can't i'll just bring it to get inspected like this totally totally fine this is the mess i have oh this is my little dog right there chihuahua um but this is um what i'm gonna be using this is the stock hatchback muffler i got this out of junkyard uh, my brother found a hatch in the junkyard, the only one there, and it had the muffler in it. So, took the muffler, this was like 20 bucks. Um, you don't need it. My friend that got his car barred, he says that they don't look at the exhaust, they don't care. But if it's loud, then they'll probably think about it. Uh, they mainly look at the header and the cap. Everything else after that, it'd be totally fine. You can run an aftermarket exhaust. Um, just make sure there's no leaks or anything. And this piping right here, all this. All of this right here to the cat, it is eBay. Um, I just need the piping, the piping on my hatch. I'll show you guys when I jack up the car and uh, take off the exhaust. This the car is running full JDM piping. So we're talking about a JDM header to a universal test pipe to a full JDM cat back. So if I try to use my seeker exhaust on a USDM cat, well one is, is going to be too big and two it won't line up because the way the JDM things are because JDM catalytic converters are shorter compared to the US cats. Um, so that's one reason why I just bought an eBay exhaust. This was like $88 on eBay. I mainly just needed the mid pipe and the 
uh, S pipe. It did come with a giant fart can. Um, this is not going on my car. So, just to let you guys know that. And this is for a coupe. Um, the reason why I got a coupe is because if you get a hatchback exhaust, it's gonna be too short because the catalytic converters are resting on the header on the Y7s and the Y6 or whatever. So, I had to get a 96 to 2000 Civic EX or SI coupe exhaust so that it could line up perfectly um, to the B16. Uh, this is the B16 downpipe, a little bit rusty because this was the East Coast motor. Um, it did come with the donut gasket. Super tiny, I forget how small these, uh, these are. And then this right here, <laughs> you can kind of see there's a hole right here because there's supposed to be O2 sensor. Now this is a brand new, from Honda, 96, 98 spec Delso catalytic converter because we're getting a card or 9697 Delso um, Cali converter, brand new from Honda. Uh, well, you can't see, but this is a brand new one. I bought it for my work, and the O2 bung is right here. So I do kind of have to drill a hole out and run the O2 sensor right here because this heat shield is off my friend's um, 992000 Civic SI because on the 992000, the Cali converter uh, secondary O2 sensor is right in the middle, which is why this hole's here. So I just need to cut a hole and it'll be fine and I can have the heat shield on it. This is the eBay exhaust. Uh, hopefully it doesn't sound like shit because this resonator looks, I don't know. All I need is just to pass inspection, just run it. Uh, and this does line up to the stock exhaust. Muffler, I mean. This lines up perfectly, but it is touching uh, the bottom of the heat shield, so I have to smack that down a little bit. But uh, yeah, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Brand new cat. Uh, uh, come on. There's like some weird lettering there. But yeah, it is brand new. Um, this was a uh, four four hundred and eighteen bucks. Um, that's the employee discount. Normally they're like six seven hundred bucks. So perks of working at Honda, guys. And I know I always say that because it's true. So all of this has to go on the car and the header. Uh, I'm gonna do that. And then I do have to break in the cat. Since it is a brand new cat, you're, you have to drive so you can break in the cat or else the EC will trigger it or will let, you, will let the system know when you get a bar that is not ready, the cat's not ready yet. So I'm gonna put that on, drive the car. My registration is due in two months. So I'm gonna drive yada 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 for a whole month. Um, try to drive a lot more and then break in the Cali converter and it should pass no matter what. Um, yeah, everything's solid in here. Don't need to touch anything. So, minus all that, quick little update. I picked up, uh, you guys didn't see Joey Lee's video. He made a meet, it's called a tire festival. He has a full vlog on his channel, so I'll link it down below. Uh, Sticky Dojo, Joey Lee. And Utah was having a little garage sale over there and I picked these up from him. Uh, these are T37s. I can never get away from these. These are 16 by eight plus 30, five by one for 14. Uh, these are pretty old, but I bought these as a pair because um, they are very equivalent to these C28s. These are 16 by 8 plus 28, and if I want to run those T's on one side, I could do that or run them just in the front, run them just in the back, or a good spare to have. So, got those for it. And I did pick this up literally just now. This is a Spoon Sports EG Duckbill. A real well spoiler real one really clean um, spin sports so not for my car but I did pick it up for myself and I did pick up this Mugen air box which is already sold guys um, this is for a EK9 and a DC2 9698 spec with no ABS this is like the air box because on the newer DC2 uh, Mugen air boxes they're a little bit more like a cone so they could clear the ABS module, but these ones are designed to not work with it. So this is gone though, so. And <laughs> last video, the T16s, those are sold. Um, a lot of people commented, they're like, oh, you already sold these. Yeah, I did. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, check me out. I do sell a lot of stuff. Um, I buy and flip a lot of stuff, so hope you guys understand that. But yeah. 
let's jack up the car, throw this all on there, and then, um, yeah, ready. Hopefully, the exhaust lines up if it doesn't. Well, I'm praying that this S pipe right here lines up with my secret exhaust because I don't want to run that stock exhaust, but we'll see. Hopefully, and this is nice and quiet too. All right, as you guys can see, it is daytime and it is the next day. I got off of work, jacked up the whole car. Got to take that wheel off so I could take off the muffler a lot easier. And then, um, yeah, so, uh, let's see. Okay, so my exhaust pipe, I don't know if a lot of you guys wonder, but I'm running CT adder to adjustable test pipe. The reason why I have that clamp there is so the test pipe doesn't slip off and also prevent it from leaking. And this is the full Seeker Japan cat back. Oh shit. Seeker Japan cat back. All the way back. Zoom. This guy right here. So that is the full Seeker cat back. Cool piece. Um, one of my favorite pieces is actually on the car because it's really quiet. So I'm gonna unbolt all this. You guys ever know how to do it? You got that three bolt flange. Take this out, that, take the muffler out. Uh, I'm gonna do the header last because the header, yeah, I'll just do it last because, eh. I actually did uh, pick up new gaskets for the header, the where it splits off in, um, the ones right here. So that's for that. There's the part number. Oh, focus, focus. Come on. There you go. Okay. So let's get started. I don't think I need to show you guys. I've done this many, many times and probably you guys too. Got my mid pipe off. Now let me show you guys. So a lot of JDM exhausts, if you use full JDM piping, uh, especially from the header back, the test pipe is a lot shorter. Cali converts that um, the JDM cars use are really short. And this is the US piping. You can see so much longer. It's longer by like almost four to five inches. Well, three to four inches. Uh, but yeah, so. so Got to take out the S-pipe and then the muffler. Well, I'll probably leave the muffler on. I'm going to put the eBay exhaust on and hopefully pray that uh, the Seeker cap back um, or Seeker axle back lines up perfectly fine. And if it doesn't, then I got to take it off, which is going to be uh, sad. So, you guys can see the JDM mid-pipe is longer than the USDM, well, aftermarket USCM exhaust because the cat's longer so the JD one has shorter cat so it has a longer section to compensate for that gap if anyone wants to know the difference between a JDM header and a USCM header uh, well B16 wise this is like a tiny ass like two inch collector this is a two and a half this is what I was running and you can see that huge difference but I swapped those two over now to put this on and luckily the JDM heat shield actually fits the USCM B16 header so we got a heat shield hell yeah I just finished drilling out the hole for the O2 I just got a one inch little hole saw thing drilled it out and there we go clears well this is the wrong O2 sensor but you guys get the idea. Alright. Put it all in. Bolt it up. And I just found out that um, the piping won't work with my secret muffler. So I got to take off the muffler and uh, put the OEA muffler back on. And hopefully the OEA one actually fits too. So, uh, I should do some measurements. Because... Well, this is not gonna work actually. This is off a of coupe. I know for a fact a lot of people are gonna be asking if I'm gonna be selling this exhaust. There's no way I'm selling this. This is probably like one of the coolest pieces I own that's <laughs> that's on my car. Uh, and after we get a bar, we'll probably put that back on. But I am running just the stock muffler I got from the junkyard because that is the only thing that lines up unless I can find like something. But for now it works and underneath the car, everything lines up perfectly and um so this has two because this is also designed for an integra so an integra has two hangers but on the ek is only one so that's yeah and this thing is 
solid, dude. Super solid. Now all I have to do is actually go inside the car. And, oh shoot, I gotta move the spoon wing. And before I was using a O2 extension because it just didn't line up. I'm gonna unplug that and plug the uh, O2 in now, which is right, I think it's right here. Oh man, right here. I guess you can't see, but I'm gonna plug that up, turn on the car and see that there's no leaks. Which I think this should be good. I'm gonna clean up a little bit, turn on the car and see how quiet it is with a stock muffler and a catalytic converter. This thing should be dead quiet. Don't smell like gas or anything like that. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get it going. I'm tired. I'm gonna have work tomorrow. God damn it. All right, I washed my hands. Uh, so I gotta take a shower. But I turned off the fan so we can see if there's any leaks. So, and pray that there's a cell. I did plug in the for primary O2 and then the secondary just now. I don't have a, the blower on right now because I was running AC the other day. All right. See if there's any leaks. Oh, uh, there's a leak right here, so okay, so what I'ma do is where the cat is but there's no cell so that's good that sounded ugly because that leak um i guess all right so i'm gonna leave the car up in the air i'm gonna get a new gasket tomorrow and then um What's it called? Replace it because the reason why it was loud is because it was leaking from the downpipe. So I'm gonna get a new donut gasket and put it on tomorrow and we'll see how it sounds, but it should be dead quiet because I don't even hear it. Well, I mean, I do hear it, but the motor is louder than the car at the moment. So we'll leave it like this for now and uh, get back to it tomorrow. So don't sell the guys, just keep building. Stay tuned for the bar process and what you're doing here. But cool. Peace out guys. Time to go sleep. I'll take a shower and then knock out.